Arenola taking the mound on this Friday night. John, his last outing, it wasn't great. No. Uh, his defense wasn't great behind him, but it really wasn't great. Five earned runs in four and two thirds. Yeah, but this is a situation where Aaron, if, if there's a mistake made behind him, Aaron has to be able to pitch around those mistakes. You know, hopefully in this game right here, they don't make any mistakes, and Aaron, Aaron is dominant from the start. As Michael Garcia leads things off, curveball hit in the air, left center field. Rojas got a good jump. Yeah, the Phillies center fielder crosses over, makes the catch. And one away. Here's Bobby Witt Jr. The 3 2. Fastball swung out and missed, strike three. Nola pumped it in at 95 miles an hour. Two outs now in the top of the first inning. And that brings up Michael Massey. Fastball popped up behind the second base bag. Shortstop Trey Turner drifts into the outfield. Center fielder Rojas comes in. He makes a one hand catch. And that ends the inning. So the Royals see a ton of pitches, but nothing to show for it down in order against Aaron Nola. And they'll be facing Jordan Lyles. And Jordan makes his 12th career appearance against the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber, and it's no balls in one strike. Speaking of sharply to Salvi, but he's right on it. Can't hit it to him. He's like a big cushion. He's a big teddy bear. Here's Alec Bohm. That ball's hit back toward the middle and into center field, a base hit. He had seven hits against the Marlins. He has uh, number eight in the last five games there. And Alec Bohm with a one out single. And now Bryce Harper comes to the plate. And now Harper hits it high and deep, right center field, but Isbell is there. There are two outs in the bottom of the first inning. So here's Nick Castellanos. And the Phillies got to put up some numbers here if they can. Oh, that yeah. ball's hooked deep to left field. Going back is Melendez. It is gone. Two run home run Castellanos. To 16th of the year. And the Phillies lead 2 0. No doubt about that one. But now a chance for the Royals to tie the game, and they can do it with one swing. Second and third, nobody out. MJ Melendez bats. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a good time for it. His second strikeout of the night. Now to bring up the catcher, Freddie Fermin. And a called strike three. Right on the outside part of the plate. Back to back K's for Aaron. Nola with a chance to get out of this jam on ski. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. He just struck out three in a row after allowing the first two runners to get into scoring position. With a one out double. Here comes Trey Turner. Uh, just about everybody here is standing and Trey Turner nodding you know he wants to come through oh because I don't know if anybody can embrace you with their voice the way this one can though off the end of the bat and Salvi makes the play for the second out look at the fans though and we were too we, how bad do we want that to go over Salvador Perez's head the Royals have a runner on first with one out and here comes Bobby Witt Jr. and he smacks it deep left field a no doubt blast for Bobby baseball way out Two-run shot to tie the game at two in the top of the third. Bobby Witt Jr. puts the baseball world on notice. A young superstar rising across the baseball landscape. His 20th home run of the season. And now the first player in baseball history to have 20 homers and at least 30 steals in his first two major league seasons. Incredible. Now we are seeing Bobby Wood Jr. start to become the superstar that he was expected to be. There's one gone. Alec Baum hits one in the air to left center field. It's pretty well hit. It will stay in the yard. It one hops the wall and is in play. He'll pull into second base with a double. His 20th of the year. He's got a single and a double. Somebody liked it. Down to third goes Baum. But two outs now, and here comes Nick Castellanos. First pitch to Nick Castellanos. He pops it up right side of the infield. Salvador Perez waits for it. Michael Massey calls for it. He makes the catch, and that ends the inning. One away. Here's MJ Melendez. Swing and a miss. Seven strikeouts for Aaron Nola. He's got Melendez twice. And for Mean with a two out single. Dairo Blanco now. Fly ball short center field. Rojas sees it, lets everybody know he can see it, and makes the catch. No runs, one hit, one man left. So that'll have runners at first and second, one out. And that'll bring up Trey Turner for the second time. And the fans, a lot of them getting up again. Trey, support day. Well, here's where he has to calm himself down and, and get a good pitch to hit. And a swing and a high 
fly ball into shallow center. Who wants this one? In comes Isbell. Out goes Bobby Witt to make the catch for the out. First and second, two down. And that'll leave it up to Johan Rojas. Fly ball left field pretty well hit. Melendez going back, and he is not able to get it. He bounces off the wall. Two runs will score. It'll be a double for Rojas. And the Phillies retake the lead. It's a 4 2 game. Michael Massey to lead things off here in the sixth. First pitch swing, high fly ball. Deep right field, way back, and that ball is long gone. Long home run for Michael Massey. His ninth of the year, and the Royals pull within one. It's 4 3, Philadelphia. And the Royals have him at first and second for Freddie Fermin. Yeah, so that's going to be it for Aaron. So Aaron Nola. Who had that uh, long run of uh, six innings or better and uh, your back to back starts he can't get through six and he'll give way to Junior Marte. Well, let's see if Freddie Fermin can do some damage. He's going to come back in there with another heater and we'll be ready for it if it's in the middle hit to the gap and it's down. Olivares scores Melendez is going to be held and Freddie Fermin drives in another run. And the Royals have tied it at four in the sixth inning. Tyrone Blanco 0 for 2. He's struck out and fly to center. Royals have been down by two twice. And now they have a chance to take the lead for the first time. And he's going to drop one into right field. One run is home. Here's Fermin. And the Royals lead by two with a four run sixth inning. Blanco comes through. That'll close the book on Nola. The five runs and five and a third. It's not going to get any better. That's the problem. Runner at second, two down. Now the Phillies need a two out base hit from Trey Turner. Turner is now 0 for his last 17. Come on, Trey. Last yes. drive, base hit it to right field. Stotts are out third, heading home. He'll score. Trey Turner comes through. Look at the fans going crazy for Trey. Trey Turner snaps his 0 for, and he drives home Bryson Stott, and it's a 6 5 ball game. With Samad Taylor leading off third base and one out. It brings up Tyrone Blanco, who brought in a pair with a little flair in the sixth inning. Showing bunt, he gets it down. Here comes Taylor and safe at home plate. And Tyrone Blanco, batting in the number eight spot, has driven in three tonight. Now seven to five in the top of the eighth inning. We need a rally, Chicken. We need a rally anything at this point. And there's out number one here in the ninth. We'll bring up Bryce Harper. Curveball grounded to second and a double play. Yes. And the Royals have won seven in a row.